1. How does God see time? How does God deal with time? God has a clear understanding in relation with time, although He is big and all-powerful. People have the idea sometimes that God is out there away from the things that happen in time. It is critical to understand how God sees time and how He deals with it. For He made time, as we can read, God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons, and for days and years, and let them be lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so, Genesis 1 14-15. It's clear that God created time, although he is known as being the everlasting. Because he created time, it is sure that God has an understanding of time, although he is not limited by it. God is the master of times and seasons, for he changes times and seasons, Daniel 2:21. God sees time from above as a very little thing. We can even be tempted to say that he sees time only in this way, but it is not so, for God also understands the time and seasons looking from the perspective of a simple human being. Jesus reflected this process when he accepted to walk on earth. God, in the body of Christ, was trapped to live and walk following the seconds. Jesus grew following the simple steps of life from year zero up to when he was 30, and he carried on his ministry during the remaining three years of his life here on earth. The man, Christ, followed the natural progression of time, waiting as each second was ticking. Jesus, after having to follow the natural progression of time, displayed the power that he had over time when he moved in the power of the Spirit to minister to different people who came to him. The miracle of the wine, John 2, the healing of the man at the pool of Bethesda, John 5, the feeding of the 5,000, John 6, and many other operations done by Jesus are acts that show how Christ could operate above the imitation of time. For to be able to produce the bread and the fish that people ate that day, there needed to be work done over a long period of time. To produce the type of wine that Christ gave that day, time needed to be involved. For such wine, years and years have to pass, but Jesus produced the top quality wine within an instant. Jesus was able to heal the paralytic man within a few seconds, but this man had been lying down for years. The same demonstration of power happened over and over again during the ministry of Jesus. It seems as though the things that required lots of time and energy to be done were being done within a very short time. Jesus was operating above the limitation of time, although he was living within time. He had a key that permitted him to operate above the time and season. God looks at time and respects the natural progression of time because he set it up in order, but he is not limited by it. And many times the Bible talks to us about men who, in cooperation with God, were able to command time to stand still. Joshua 10 12. There was day in their village when it was dark night in other parts of the land. Exodus 10. And the king wanted God to turn time back about 30 minutes. Isaiah 38. God created time, just like everything else. Therefore, God has the authority to deal with it as it pleases him. The good thing about this is that as we access God to walk with Him, He gives us the grace to look at time in the way He does, and therefore we can operate above the simple limitation of time. For there are so many laws above the law of time and season, and as we are moving to walk with the everlasting God, the Lord teaches us to operate as children of the everlasting God.